Welcome to Vintage Blend Studio. Come and create with me. Hi guys, I'm back doing a um, scrapbooking pad. So I've used all different bits and pieces, which I'll show you. Collection from um, Pink Paisley, my least favourite. Um, but papers are beautiful. Um, well, I'm doing a picture of myself in the 70s. <laughs> um, and... I'm trying to do it mono, monica, was it monogrammatically? Oh, we're trying to get that out. Um, so I've used all different bits and pieces, which I'll show you along the way. Um, gorgeous paper pad because it's got the gold. And I uh, all the papers in the paper pad. Challenge myself to use out of all. So pretty. Love those flowers. I've already completed the page, but at the moment, I use these in. Um, upcoming scrap in the flowers and all that there's a page of the yeah be on the lookout for them so I'm using the hexagons which I've got in the background I mean it looks like I've already completed the page but at the moment <laughs> in the flowers and all that there's a page of these beautiful flowers so I've done all that off camera because that would have taken a long time right. and I challenge myself to use out of all the papers in the paper pad <laughs> my least favorite um, but they sort of got that 70s vibe about it and that's why I called it 70s vibe which um, the photo that I am using um, is of me um, when I was younger and um, my dad was a minister of a church and um, in the 70s a lot of Asians came to Australia and um, they stayed in hostels and they um, drove them out to if they needed to go to church or whatever so we got a big influx of Asians coming to our church um, probably because they just wanted to integrate into the culture and have some time away from the hostel um really lovely people we got to know a different culture um lovely they were um and because I had blonde hair and blue eyes I had them all coming up to me pulling my cheeks and um touching my hair because it was blonde and um I remember that vividly and I'm like the next person that touches my hair <laughs> um yeah so it was quite invasive for a little girl but um <laughs> quite bright um, but the hexagons in this paper really go well um, with that other background paper as well so and I thought I've seen other scrappers do a um, you know the monogrammatic uh, pages before so I thought I'll try and match it up the best as I can <laughs> they tend to flow over but even hexagons and that sort of got that almost 60s, 70s vibe too. The colours are so pretty, actually. And the flowers that they've got in the packs, which I, you can see off to the side, they are so nice. I love the, the gold foiling in it, which you don't get in just a normal paper pack. That's me in the front with the little piggies, um, which is pigtails in Australia. That's what we call them, piggies. You can tell I'm Australian. Um, that's another the quote from one of those quote strips from one of the pages. I thought it was it was good. About was it change is good. Hope for a better tomorrow. Celebrate today. Time flies. See the good. I thought change is good and that time flies and a better tomorrow it all sort of went with you know a page that was set in the past and what did i do that's just a gold uh, just a a gold um flower and then you got the page full of beautiful butterflies the gold falling and it is really pretty it like it's a lot nicer in real life than it is when you see it on on, um, on video and they've got sort of gold around the outside and in the center 
not just the outside. Good old glue stick. Yes, just as well I've pre-cut them because it took a while but um, it's definitely worth it. It turns out really, really nice. And a couple of gold leaves. There was another page where I, which I um, wasn't that fussed on either, which was the, the one that looks a bit like a, um, a tiley tile page like an old style tile but as a group but when you use the individual pieces they turn out really well um, really really nice on the back of the on these you'll see me cutting them out oh, I think I've already cut them out it's the bits that go on the green the dark green and on the red and the pink And that's another bit from that page as well. And the leaves. Having that little roller seems a bit strange, but it just pushes them down without me having to touch the paper so much. We do have a lot of oil and stuff in our fingers. Okay. I love these blue flowers. And the beauty about having something like this, I used... Um, a lot of the half flowers which are on the edge of the page so I'm utilizing um, all the flowers you know so you not just the whole one so chuck them on the edge nice big one in the middle Yeah, there, that's the piece I was talking about. It looks so good with the um, the gold. Love it. Got to get it just right. That one's really pretty too. The only thing is, in the end, it sort of half of it gets covered. Such a lovely um, collection there. The pink paisley turn the was it turn the page? Yeah, turn the page. I've been watching um, YouTube videos with people using this gorgeous collection. I thought I've got to get I've got to get this. So um, because I'm in Australia, I've got to get it from America, and so it's sort of I think it came out in September last year. So it's uh, sort of been and gone but I don't care it's just really nice I think she's got another collection at the moment so that's another one from that the page that has sort of got all this tiling on there makes it really easy just, I, love, I really like these flowers but I'm a bit of a sucker for pink but it's a sort of a peachy pink and got gold in the center of them once again um, when the picture is in I seem to cover it so you don't get to see that little white cluster that's why I put it there because you won't see it Now which one we're doing? Those little flowers, they actually remind me of coconuts because of the three or well, the couple of little holes that they've got in there. And even there I used on the um, butterfly paper a half a grey one. So you're utilising every bit of your paper which is great. I'm all for being thrifty and frugal with my papers. <laughs> And because it's all from the same collection, everything just matches up perfectly. So all the uh, the hard work of thinking of the colours is done for you, which is good. And got the 
page full of all these beautiful birds. So, sort of, well, the wings match. That one's a bit all different colours. So I kept one of the hexagons um, white so that I could do journaling on there. Mark it off so that I can do it straight. <laughs> Nothing worse than uh, writing that tends to have a bit of a slant to it. And I even got, that was the closest to the white I could get. <laughs> a butterfly, it's mostly white with a little bit of light blue in it. The butterflies in this collection are so gorgeous. I love them. They've got every colour. They're really pretty. I'm putting in the little antennas on the butterflies. Oh, forgot one. Cut all the in bits off. Now, rather than writing the word 70s, I'm just using 70s in sort of the bright um, stickers that I've got there. I've had them for ages, they're from my stash. Whereas this one, this is a great little book, I love it. It's, I think, from a kid's section I bought once and I've had it in my bookshelf for ages and... Um, yeah, you always, it's all different types of uh, lettering, so it's great. I think that is called... Which one is that one? I think that might be the Aloha, even though there is a psychedelic. Maybe it is a psychedelic. Yep, well, yep, don't get... Don't get... Watch me... Um, cutting out all of them. Oopsie, accidentally broke that off, but you just chuck it on and you'll never know. And there you go. Put a little bit of a line so I don't put it on crooked because I'm easy to do that. And then realised I needed an S for the 70s. So I've got a, a stencil from Kazar Craft, I think. That one I don't fast forward. You get you have to watch me what I cut this one out. Yeah, so it's really handy having um, lettering stencils because I got a book full of different ones because um, you know not everyone's always got the money to get all the bits and pieces from my collection um, and ha get alphabet stickers I usually don't use them um, I do my own because you got so many papers in your stash you don't really unless you're fortunate enough to someone has gifted you them um it's good to be able to do as much as you can yourself and you're saving yourself some money and you get the enjoyment of doing it yourself there we go the rubber goes everywhere So the 70s vibes is my title for this page, which you've probably already gathered. <laughs> Get the old little roller thing out. Don't you just love the way that we pick at the little things in our <laughs> in our pages? 
and in the centre of it I've got this little happy smiley face which sort of reminds me of the have a nice day thing that sort of came out in the 70s. Trying to get my gold pen to work. Which I just put around the outside because there's gold around the outside of the 70s and I wanted to match it up. And I think I used the gold pen on the journaling as well um, to match in with the gold foil of the papers. So getting something to put behind the photo just to brighten it up a bit. That's a really pretty paper. I love that paper. And you end up fighting with this. This stuff is always hard to pull off sometimes. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm not the only one that does it. I've watched other videos where people have struggled trying to peel this stuff off. But it seems to be the one that works the best with the actual attaching the photos. So every paper that I've used on here has been from um, the collection. I think apart from the, the word vibes might have been just from a stash of... I've got I'll cut off the corners to sort of um, tie in with the hexagon feel. Cut them straight. And then I put a think I put a bit of foam tape on the back of it just to write of it, make it higher. I've got this. Uh, I think the next pack I'm going to be buying is going to be a little bit it's a bit high this one but um, not too bad but I'll, I'll get a run that's not so thick next time make sure it's straight there we go I laugh every time I come out with that roller it looks so funny in fast forward Now that's the paper I was talking about that's got that beautiful tiling. A uh, bit busy altogether, but using the individual pieces is really quite pretty. I cut out that little blue one in the corner. Um, just to fill in that spot on the top, just underneath the word vibes. Just needed something there. And rather than getting another hexagon, I cut that one up and put that up there. Initially, I thought I was going to put it in that corner, uh, the bottom hand side, but I uh, end up using one of the quotes. I use a couple of these quotes actually. That's what's another good thing about this collection, too. They've got these really good um, quotes that you can use as a, um, a title, or they're just really nice. I've, um, the next one I, I make with it, I think I used a dream one. Um, and that becomes my title. So here we go. <laughs> Magic. Done. Um, moving on. I thought moving on from the 70s. And there, there, that ends up going on the top there. And um, happy as can be. Because I thought I'd look pretty chirpy in this picture. And I was there with my little friends. They were so cute. And then leftover bits of flowers that I had just to tie it in a little bit. And then the other little round circle um, peachy colour just tied it off as well. I thought that was really pretty. That was from that um, paper as well. And I think I'm pretty much done showing you what I used and where I got it from. Oh no, I'm not quite done. I do the journaling. Which I end up going over um, with a black pen because you can't see it properly, but I might do that off camera. So um, once the journaling's done, I will um, show you close-ups by bringing it up. But I really appreciate you watching and I hope you got inspired by this and um, maybe make a page like this of your own. 
uh, really appreciate you watching maybe leave a comment or um, you know let me know what you think and if there's any uh, anything else you'd like me to make from this collection let me know um, appreciate you watching okay thanks oh, I thought I was nearly finished <laughs> the date that's what I did there you go try and do it the opposite way I didn't quite get it right but gold pen I think that's done close up you can see the shine when I sort of have it at a bit of an angle it looks quite pretty Thanks for watching. If this video inspired you, please like and subscribe. Bye!